I'm gonna finish this call. Then I'm gonna stab you. Oh, stab. That escalated. I know you. I don't think so. Castilla. Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're starting season nine of Supernatural. The first episode is titled, I think I'm gonna like it here. Where? On Earth? Because angels were falling from the sky, so... Also, Castiel is a human, I think. Uh, he um, lost his grace. Well, he it was taken from him uh, by Metatron. So, maybe it's going to be Castiel liking a... a an existence as a human maybe he's gonna freaking enjoy it Let's see let's just get into it there's pretty much nothing the winchesters can't do if they work together hello castiel A meteor shower. Seriously? Could have looked What's like it. On, man? You okay? Me? Look, there's no easy way to say this, okay? Something happened back there in the church. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know why. You're dying, Sam. Huh? kidding me yeah that was kind of weird because they were in the car and he had a paper in his hand and it's like he felt it and he seemed fine the mri shows massive internal burns affecting many of the major oh organs. my god oxygen if your brother continues on this trajectory the machines might keep him alive but he'll be dead Technically, yes, I'm afraid so. There's no bounce back, there's no nothing. I'm afraid that's in God's hands now. God has nothing to do with this equation at all. I didn't mean that's that. not good enough. Cash, you there? Sammy's hurt. He's hurt up. He's hurt pretty bad. I can't hear you. Please, man, I need you here. He lost his grace. Screw it. Okay, listen up. This one goes out to any angel with their ears on. This is Dean Winchester. And I need your help. This is Dean Winchester, and I need your help. Blainwood Memorial Hospital, Randolph, New York. The first one who could help me gets my up in return, and you know that ain't nothing. Honey, mm -hmm. for them it's no secret that we have. Doesn't no even secret. say something. <laughs> Dean Winchester needs me. You know that I am good for my work. But just because you're dying doesn't mean you're dead. Not yet, okay? We can jimmy ourselves out of worse. That's fight this. in his head. I got the plan. You just got to hang on. You hear me? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> if I am dying, and I believe you, I do. But if you're you, but you're really me, and, and you're the part of me that wants to fight to live. Yes. I have no idea what you just said, but continue. <laughs> you don't have any idea how I'm supposed to fight. Then am I supposed to be fighting at all? Are you serious? Hell yes, he's serious. Bobby! If you ask me, I think the kid's got a good point. <laughs> We're just all in Sam's head. Just chilling. Uh... Whoa! It hurts. Well, we get you some water. Hmm? I don't drink water. 
Dehydration's a real bitch up here, mister. A phone. You should start you a phone. drinking water, Castiel. How about a lift? Yes. Good. I would fly, but I I have no wings. Not anymore. Same. I would fly, but I have no right. wings. Sam wants to die and you think he's got a point? Okay, I don't want to die. You're not actually buying this, are you? Excuse me. Are you dead? Because I am. And maybe I'm here because I'm the part of Sam that actually knows what the hell he's talking about. Well, I'm in the front seat because Sam put me here because he wants to fight. Right? Well, that just got real uncomfortable. See you, Dean. Say what you do. Yep, yep, yep. Am I right? Let's walk. No, I can't take your money. For the phone. The sandwich if they have one. It's okay, I don't eat. You'll figure something. Take care, kid. He's nice. Hmm. Hang up the phone. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Do you not know that uh, your grace has been taken from you? I'm going to finish this call. Then I'm going to stab you. Oh, stab. That escalated. I know you. I don't think so. Castiel. My name is Hale. You're an angel. Am I? It's an angel without its wings. Good question. Hey. My name is Kim Short, so I'm my grief counselor here at the hospital. I got it. Get fine. away. Sorry, I'm just tired. Well, all due respect, but uh, I'm not grieving. Not yet, at least. Unless you're telling me you have a direct line to those angels that you were looking for. Yeah, no, I, uh, I guess I don't. But I might have something better. I've got the king of hell in my trunk. Uh, is, is that... Uh, um, sorry, is that a metaphor? Yes. Yes, it is. Don't worry about it. Listen up, you son of a bitch. One for yes, two for no. You alive? Come on, don't be a powder. There we go. <laughs> you pray? Yeah, for help. Yes. You'll be helping me. Bitch. Where is Castiel? Who's our escape? Try every angel who was ejected from their home. Oh, oh well, in that case, I have no clue. Easy there, brother. Forgive me, brother. I don't recognize you. Happy to make your reacquaintance after you disarm. Who are you? Never mind me. You're Dean Winchester. I heard your prayer. And I am here to help. Opportunity for you and the others who've fallen to finally do what you would like to do, not just what you've been told. There's a place. I built it when I was last here, many years ago. A Grand Canyon. You did that? Grand Canyon, yes. Damn, girl. I, I would like to see that. Sure. <laughs> Start with a name. Ezekiel. All right, Ezekiel. Many more are on their way here, most likely. How do you know that? You put out an open prayer like that. I'm not sure when you're desperate. For right, his little bro. But what strength I have left, I offer to you. You gotta let go of fighting, scratching, and looking for loopholes because that ain't happening so so what i, I just die just die 
all the good you've done, all the people you've saved, all the sacrifices you've made. You've saved the world, son. What you call dying, I call leaving a legacy. You still able to cure things after the fall? Yes, I should be, but he's so weak. Who is this? Dean. Guys, what the hell's going on? Metatron tricked me. It was an angel trial, so it was a spell. I wanted you to know that. Okay, well, that's great, but we got ourselves a problem. What's wrong? Sam, he's, uh, they say he's dying. Don't worry about me. What are you doing for Sam? Uh, everything I can. I... There's actually another angel in there working on him right now. What other angel? Um, his name is Ezekiel. He's cool. I mean, I think he is. Ezekiel. Yes. He's a good soldier. Okay. <laughs> he should be able to help. There's a war on, and it's on you. There's thousands of them out there. You said you lost your grace, right? That means you're human. That means you bleed, and you eat, and you sleep, and all the things you never had to worry about before. I'm finding. Whoa. What's going on? I think we got more company. You can do this, Hale. This is your chance to help people. Girl. I'd be lost without you, Cassio. Yes, I'm beginning to see that. Mm -hmm. It's the least I could ask of you. This is all your fault, isn't it? We're going to become more than just friends, Cassio. We're going to become one. You want to possess me? Your vessel is strong. This one won't hold me much longer. I don't know about that. Stay behind me. <gasps> she was! You sneaky bitch. There it is. I said it. Everything is going, son. What the hell, Bobby? I'll be waiting for you with a couple of cold ones. No, that's not Bobby. Bobby was the part of you that wants to die. I know it stings, but he had to go. No, you have to go. What are you going to realize? It's over. There's nothing to fight for. No, see, I know you don't believe that. My plan... My plan is to fight. My plan is to try. My plan is to give a damn. Are you telling me there's nothing? Huh? You're telling me there's nothing to fight for? That there's nothing to hope for? No. I'm telling you there is. You might not like it. You might not accept it. But it's in there. It's in that house. You know what's in that house. Now I can't help you if you ain't willing to fight for yourself. It's okay. It's what I want. What? No. Wait, he has to die to be reborn? Is he gonna be an angel? Because he was oh, purified and all of that. Tell me where Anybody ever tell you you hit like an angel? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, son. Death? I've been waiting for you. I bet. I'm happy to see him, but like, not in this circumstance. Wait, 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 wait. I like his character. If heaven is locked, then where do you go when I do this? Oh, damn. <laughs> Good job, Dean. I am sorry, Dean. No, 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 no. I'm just afraid it's too late. You kidding me? But there was a chance I could fix your brother. From the inside. From the Go inside. inside of him? A possession? You want to possess Sam? I told you. No way. Understood. It's your call. No, it's Sam's call. You would rather die. I'll leave you two alone then. Something's gonna happen. 
Wait. Obviously. Is he gonna say yes? You gotta prove to me how bad he is. I must admit, when I heard it was you, well, I had to come myself. If I go with you, can you promise that this time it will be final? That if I'm dead, I stay dead. Nobody can reverse it, nobody can deal it away. I can promise that. Do it! <laughs> what are you doing, sir? As you can see, there's not much time. I know. I heal Sam while healing myself. And then he gets and once out. Healed, I leave. Oh, really? That's not bad. It's the best of a bad situation, Dean. That's not bad at all. Sam will never say yes, not to you. Oh, yeah, he has. He won't say yes to you. I don't want to hurt you. I didn't want to hurt any of them. I want to help you. Ah, oh, her leg. I will devote my life to helping you all. If you leave me here in this broken girl, I swear it, Castiel, I will tell them where you are. And they will hunt you. I will go on Angel Radio and tell them everything unless you open your heart. Say yes. <laughs> He's like, what about crow nuts? Mm -hmm. but time is short, so. <laughs> By all means. What's going on? <laughs> Without a plan. It's not his time. That's for Sam to decide. But you gotta let me in, man. You gotta let me help. There ain't no me if there ain't no you. There ain't no me if there ain't no you. What do I do? Yeah, yes. Yes. Come on. Ooh. Have a look in there. Not good. There is oh. much work to be done. There is no reason for Sam to know I'm in here at all. You're joking, but no, this is this is too big. Without his acceptance, Sam can eject me at any time. Especially with me so weak. And if Sam does eject me, he will die. Will he not keep it a secret for now. remember seeing? Oh, until Sam is well enough that he doesn't need an angelic pacemaker. Or I find a way to tell him I He will not remember any of this. Oh my god. Oh. Sam? Let out since the sky was spitting angels. Aren't you feeling good? Yeah, I mean, I, I just, um, you've been driving around with me passed out in the passenger seat for a day. Ah, uh, I mean, I stopped, you know. Let a few Japanese tourists take some pictures. Nobody got to do anything. I meant what I said at the church. I'm capable of anything, Sam. And hell, if you didn't prove me right. Good. Because we got work to do. feel so bad if I was in uh, Dean's shoes right now but also I would have done the exact same thing um there is no universe in which Dean would let Sam go there's none no not not a chance so, you know, we're not going to sit here and be like, oh, Dean should have let Sam go. That's what he wanted. You didn't go through eight seasons just for, just to say, let Sam go. That's what he wants. I don't believe that. So, whatever means necessary, I know that it's like 
were hiding something from Sam. He's possessed by an angel. He's not possessed by a demon. Like, he's possessed by an angel. I know we're hiding it from him, but he's alive, isn't he? And unless there's some kind of plan be behind, uh, you know, a, a hidden motive from Ezekiel that he actually wants to stay in Sam and he's not going to go, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Like, unless Sam just, like, when he learns that if he ever does because I think he will unless he's like oh I really really wanted to die like how bad did he want to die you think like I don't know like we really were entertaining the idea of Sam wanting it to be over and like final you know he had Dean in his mind that represented uh, his, like, will to fight, desire to live. And then we had Bobby. That was the part that was just like, dude, just go. Like, it's fine. Just go. And he was going to go because there was nothing to do. And he, I guess I do understand that he didn't want people to suffer you know how it always ends up like being a deal and then he was brought back, he didn't have a soul and it's like, yes, there is a lot of things that happen and that aren't ideal, but we always pull through. Also, Sam's been through a lot. Like he has been through so much that like he, you know, being in a coma and not seeing a way out, he might come to the point where he's like yo just take me make it permanent don't bring me back I'm good I'm good just let me sleep but we're not gonna do that and I'm not gonna pretend like I'm like oh I feel bad for Sam because like his wishes are being respected screw that screw that you're not dying Sam you're not dying ever you're not going anywhere that's we're not, we're not doing that. So, Sam and Dean, as usual, is doing, like, I know that we tricked Sam into saying yes, but bottom line is, he, it keeps him alive. And I would expect nothing less from Dean to help his brother. And he doesn't want to lose him, like, he... He was like, anyways, good or bad, just tell me. Tell me and, like, we'll do something. I don't give a shit. Like, that's Dean. And I think that Sam would do the same thing for Dean. Like, maybe not for himself. He would probably be like, let me go. Like, he did this episode. But if it was a Dean on the bed, he, I think he would have done the same thing. So the angels, they all walk the earth and they're mad at Castiel. I think they should be mad at Metatron. Like, I don't think, uh, I think they're wrong. Like, unless they're, they're mad about, like, way earlier. But anyways, they're mad. And he's human. He needs to eat, drink, and uh, I hope he has a lot of fun discovering foods. You know, I really want that for him. I hope he finds the brother soon and he's probably going to be aware or feel. He'll be able to feel that Ezekiel is inside Sam. The question is, how long will this be a secret? Like, I don't know. How long will it take for Sam to be healed and for Ezekiel to be healed as well and be like, okay, I'm, I, we're done. I need, I, I'm leaving. I don't know. But we're going to find out. And this was amazing. Like this first episode was really good. And I feel like this is going to be the angels season, which I'm good with. I really am. We didn't see Crowley. 
He's in the trunk. We didn't see him. So, yeah. Mystery. Hmm. That was season nine, episode one. It was titled, I think I'm gonna like it here. Yeah, yeah, sure. So that was amazing. I will see you guys for the next one. And thank you so much for watching.